If you're like me, you want to be as rich as possible in GTA Online, but most of us do not have enough time to make the millions we want. But today in this video, I will be giving myself 24 hours to make as much money as possible in GTA Online. So without further ado, let's jump into it. All right, so currently right now, I am on my main account, and on my main account, I have pretty much every business there is, and every business is maxed out also. So we are definitely in the best case scenario to make as much money as possible and currently right now i am sitting at zero dollars as you can see in the top right but i'm giving myself 24 hours to acquire as much money as possible so hopefully we will not be sitting at one digit at the end of this video i'm hoping we can eclipse 30 million dollars i don't know if that's possible or not but we'll see how it goes but yeah let me head over to the first thing that we're going to get into and then we'll get the clock started all right so i've made it over to the first thing that i want to do and that thing is going to be the hsw time trial this is going to be the thing i'm going to start out with and i'm starting out with this instead of like a kyle Perico heist just because well i need money to start the kyle Perico heist i need exactly a hundred thousand dollars now which is crazy but yeah i'm sitting at zero so we need to make some money and this will be definitely our biggest bang for our buck right here as soon as i start this hsw time trial i'm going to start my 24 hour countdown so the timer is starting right now all right the clock has started all right here we go now if you've been watching my loser to luxury series um you know i am absolutely garbage at time trials but i do remember this one is not bad at all problem is i don't know exactly where i'm going right now oh yeah by the way if you're watching this right now you're like what the heck is up with the sky i'm filming this uh during the halloween event week so like the sky's extra spooky right now it's honestly kind of disgusting to be honest <laughs> it's kind of cool but when i'm trying to create like a video like this kind of looks weird am i doing this time trial the most efficient way no i haven't really wrecked yet i mean okay this has probably been my biggest blunder but i should have put down a waypoint that was just me being stupid oh oh i'm a real moron oh 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 wow i was not going okay wow what a great first two minutes of 24 hours that's fantastic okay all right so my main game plan is going to be kind of just flipping between a kayak Perico heist and doing the contract. I think that's going to be my best ways in order to make money. But then also like in the background while I do those things, I'm going to have like some businesses acquiring product and making products. So like my cola factory, I have some passive businesses working in the background, but we'll get to those later. Um, I made a video like a month ago of me trying to do as much stuff. Oh gosh, dude, I swear. I don't know what is up with me. And whenever I record and do time trials. I swear, I used to not be as bad on time trials. I mean, it is raining right now, but like this is an easy HSW time trial. And I, I know I'm using the Vicero. Even on my main account, this is my best HSW vehicle. But still, this vehicle is very, very good. Oh my God. Can we please get these done? See, I thought about doing a payphone and something else kind of like quick. But I was like, you know what? If I complete this HSW time trial, like first attempt, you know, it would be less than two minutes. But no, I just have to suck. Oh yeah, I'm not going to be recording for 24 hours straight. This recording session that I'm doing right now, cheat us, stay on the road. So one thing I don't like about this Vigero ZX, it spins out easily. Anyways, so my plan is going to be do a Kyle Perico heist and then do a contract and I'm going to go to sleep and then I'm going to come back and I think I'll be able to do like a 10 hour to 12 hour like session of absolutely just trying to make money. So yeah, that's going to be the goal and uh, no, we're not going to be completing this. Wow, we've lost that one with like a few seconds to go. This is great. This is absolutely great. No, truck, 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 truck. I need a written apology from you, truck. No, 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 no. Well, it's more morning time now it's not the weird backdrop or whatever of gta anymore it's still wet on the streets though i knew this was such a bad idea but i was like you know what no i've done this time trial so many times i should be able to do it pretty quickly i usually have good success with it nope not today oh my gosh the roads have like pretty much dried up at this point it is so smooth now no uh-uh 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 uh -uh. that's embarrassing i no 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 that guy was turning right but he veered left and 
quite embarrassing. That, that, that's stupid. I don't care that. I, I mean, I passed with flying colors that time, but geez. All right, but anyways, we have our first dollars in our bank account. I'm pissed, though. $251,000, but we need to hurry up and go to our, where are we going? Our Kaseka. And then we're going to start up the Kaya Perico heist. Oh my gosh, that took me 11 minutes. That took me 11 minutes. Quite embarrassing. Quite embarrassing. Anyways, I'm at my Kaseka now. So yeah, let's start up this Kaya Perico heist. And we have to spend $100,000. So there we go. Some of that money that we just earned going right to that. And yeah, let's get into the Gather Intel mission. All right, so the Kaya Perico heist should take me, I think, right around 50 minutes. I think 50 minutes is a good time estimate for this. But this first one, I'll kind of like show you how brutal doing that can be. That was just incredibly brutal. Anyways, I'll quickly run through like pretty much like how this Kaya Perico heist will work for me in particular. If you want to know exactly what I'm going to do to try to be as quick as possible. But the other Kaya Perico heist that we're going to do, we're pretty much just going to fast forward to me actually gaining the money. Yeah, but right now I'm in the smuggler's plane and we're trying to fly to Kaya Perico. And then once we get to Kaya Perico, we need to go to a communications tower and try to find the primary target. So I'll see you when I get to the communications tower. All right, so here's the signal box at the communications tower right at the top, which is a little annoying. All right, so I'm on the CCTV cameras right here. And I haven't done a Kyle break of ice on this account in probably months. So what are we getting here? Okay, we're getting bearer bonds. So the reason I say that because the longer in between Kyle Perico heist that it's been, I think if it gets over, what is it, three days or something? I don't know. A long amount of time, uh, like the better primary loot is more likely. So like pink diamond is more likely if you haven't done the Kyle Perico heist in a while, which for this challenge is not great because we're going to be doing a lot of Kyle Perico heist. Let's just put it at that. We're going to be doing a lot. So we're probably not going to see a pink diamond at all. If we do, I'm going to be shocked. All right. So right now I'm trying to find secondary loot. I'm trying to find secondary loot at the airstrip. This is my strategy to do this. I mean, like already we have enough secondary loot to fill up our bag, but I would still like more. Ah, yeah, here's the good stuff. Okay, yeah. Yeah, cola is sitting right here. So cola is going to be your best thing to get. So that's nice. All right, so yeah, that's pretty much it for this gather intel mission. And I'll see you for the next setup. All right, so even with bearer bond, it's going to give us like $770,000, which is not crazy. It's not great. Yeah, they nerfed that very recently, but we need to do our approach vehicle setup now. I didn't mean to click that. Dang it. I didn't mean to click that. This is great. What a great start to this video. Gee. Okay, approach vehicle, and we need to get the long fin. That's the one I want. This, in my opinion, for the strategy I'm doing, is going to be the best approach vehicle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump out of my helicopter right here, land on the road, just straight in the middle of the road. Who cares? I run the streets, and I need to call in my Phantom Wedge because they want me to get a truck cab and haul the long fin, which is hooked up to a trailer, out of the police station. But why? Why would I get their hauler that they're wanting me to get when I can just get my phantom wedge that, you know, is more fun to drive because I can do things like that. Yeah, just throw Jeeps in the air. How fun is that? But anyways, yeah, so the long fin's in there. So I'm going to just back straight up. You get a wanted level as you get in. And I need to lose the cops. And there's an easy, very easy way to lose the cops. So I'm going to get out of the police station. I'm pretty much going to get out. I'm going to drop a grenade, sit here. I don't know. But anyways, with us dying there, we just automatically lose the cops. And you want to do that when you're not, you know, inside of like the police impound lot or whatever it is. All right, so there we go. We're back in the truck cab. Yeah, we just need to deliver this long fin. And this is pretty much going to be it for this setup. This setup is so easy. All right, so now we need to get three things of equipment. And the first thing that we're going to get is going to be the safe code. Uh, this one's only going to be for bearer bonds and for the Madrazo files. But yeah, let's go get a safe code. All right, so I'm at the casino and we need to head just pretty much straight up to get the safe code. So we need to go to a penthouse, essentially. All right, so I made it to the penthouse and uh, I killed the head of security. That's who we need to kill. There's someone shooting at me. It's kind of annoying. Okay, no, stop it. Thank you. All right, so we have the safe code now. Uh, Yeah, we pretty much need to get out of here and lose the cops. All right, so the next thing of equipment I need to get is going to be the fingerprint cloner. Uh, This one's pretty simple, too. We need to go to a warehouse. All right, so we've made it over to this warehouse right here and we need to take out, there's like four 
guards, pretty much. Gotta finally get to use an assault shotgun. This is fantastic. I really miss this assault shotgun. I've had to use so many other weapons with the Loser Luxury series and, like, starting as a level one and a bunch of other videos. I haven't been able to use an assault shotgun. It, this is nice. But anyways, we need to hack a laptop. All right, there we go. We did that hack, and it reveals a location, and we just need to go to that location. And then at that point, get the fingerprint cloner. We should be good to go. It's pretty simple at this point. So, yeah, I'll complete this, and I'll talk to you about our next prep work that we have to do. All right, so the next piece of equipment that we need to get is going to be the cutting torch. Yeah, this one's very, very quick. We just need to go to the construction site, so I'll see you when we get there. Anyways, we have to go look through these toolboxes or whatever. All right, here's the cutting torch in this toolbox. I don't know where my character's going, but yeah, in this toolbox right here, there's a cutting torch. Oh, there we go. We have acquired a cutting torch, and yeah, we just need to deliver it to the Kasaka. We should be good to go. Pretty simple stuff. All right, so we need to get a weapon loadout. Um, There's a lot of controversy in one of my videos for me saying that you need to buy a suppressor here, even though you don't have to. Um, I've never not bought it from here, but I'll try it today. But anyways, yeah, we're going to get a weapon loadout. Uh, we're going to get the aggressor. Um, and good, we got one of the buildings. As long as it doesn't say Meriwether HQ, going to Meriwether HQ, that is fantastic. It's a lot more simple going to one of the office buildings. So yeah, I'll see you when we get to the office building. All right, so I've killed all the guards. Uh, We need to get into this gun locker, but in order to get into this gun locker, we need to hack into it. All right, so I actually did that hack pretty quickly. That hack usually is annoying, but now we just need to open up the gun locker. And inside the gun locker will be the guns that we need. So yeah, once we pick up these guns, uh, we pretty much all we have to do now is just go back to the Kasaka. And then at that point, we'll be ready to start up the Kyo Breakle Heist. So I'll see you when we make it back. All right, so there we go. We get this screen right here, mandatory preps complete, obviously. So yeah, we go over here and we click start. All right, so now we need to select everything. So approach vehicle is going to be long fin, which we acquired. Infiltration point is going to be main dock. That's very important. We are not doing the north dock. Uh, compound entry point is going to be drainage tunnel. Escape point doesn't matter because we'll just run off the island. And time of day, we're going to do this in the day because I want to see me robbing El Rubio. I don't want to do this in the night. And then, yeah, we can go here and uh, equip suppressors. And yeah, okay, we didn't have to pay for Okay, well, that is true. Confirmed. All right, here we go. Our first Kyle Perico ice of the video. Um, How much time? Okay, we're doing this within the first hour. I think after our slow start with the HSW time trial, um, we've kind of recovered here. Right as you spawn in, you want to head towards the airstrip. That is my strategy. Um, I mean, a lot of people use this strategy, but I think it's the best strategy to use. All right, we need to take out that guy right there because that guy is annoying. Yeah, take out that guy. And then I want to go over here and get the cola and get the thing of grass. We're going to take out that guy. Oh my God, there's a cam. Oh my God, I almost walked right in front of this camera. Jeez, that would have been really bad. So pretty much we're trying to fill up our loot bag before we get into the compound. So yeah, uh, it's just going to be me collecting this stuff. So I'll see you pretty much when we make it to the compound. All right, so we've pretty much made it to the compound. And what I'm doing is I'm going to just jump out of the boat and we're going to start swimming through the drainage tunnel, which is going to be over here. And we need to cut through this grate. And then once we cut through this grate, we'll be in the compound. So I'll see you when we get up there. All right, so now we're inside of the compound. So I'm going to take you through like my strategy inside the compound. We pretty much go here. We hang a left and I'm pretty much going to be running pretty much this entire time until we get inside of like his office. So yeah, I'm going to hang a right here, jump over this thing right here. Um, There's a guard right there. Now he's starting to walk and let him walk, 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 walk. You're doing a great job walking and stop. There you go. Nice. Oh, oh, he dropped the keys. Okay, good. Yeah. Uh, I want to pick up the gate keys and I'll show you why I want to pick up the gate keys later on. Um, But yeah, let's take out that guy. And then we need to go up here. There's one more guy we need to take out. We're going to smack that guy in the face because I don't like him. And um, yeah, we're now inside of his office and we need to go over here and collect the wall safe. And there's going to be, what was that? $70,000? That's pretty good. Now we need hack to get downstairs. Now people just like leaving the office and then going downstairs. I personally don't. I like to just go from inside the office just because there's just a lot of walking. I don't know. I'm pretty quick with the hack, so I don't think it's that much of a benefit for me to go outside. I don't know. I don't know. Some of you might know what I'm talking about. Some of you are probably so confused. It'll, it'll make sense. There's two ways to get into the vault. All right, there we go. We've hacked our way inside of here. We have to do like three fingerprint hacks to get through from inside of the office. There's like a gate over there that we're going to exit out of that only takes one. Right, so now I need to enter the code. I'm already forgetting the code. <laughs> 
Oh, God. Wait, wait, wait. Is it 79? Is it 92? Please let it be 92. Dang it! Dr. Crush is being Dr. Stupid. 94! Dang it! Sorry, I'm trying to, like, explain this. I can't just, you know, do this in the background or whatever. Anyways, yeah, so now I want to exit through here, which I have to do one more fingerprint clone hack here. But, I mean, I do this so quickly, it's not that big of a deal if I'm, like, wasting time. Yeah, that took me, like, 12 seconds. I feel like that is as fast as that's going to get. And then we're going to go over here. And then those gate keys that we got, we use them here to unlock this gate. You can only go through here with the gate keys. And yeah, we're going to run over here. Jump, jump here. There we go. Jump here. And we're going to run over here. And we're going to use this as an escape point. Shoot that guy for fun. Uh, it doesn't really matter at that point. And yeah, now we're getting out of this compound. All right. So now as we're running away from this compound, there's a motorcycle right there, but there's a guard right there silly little guard gonna be cool guard the bike heck no my bike now finders keepers and yeah now we're just gonna bike off the island and i like to go this way i think going over here is the fastest way to get off the island at least that's what i've heard i don't know maybe i could shave up a few seconds if i go another route i don't know i think this is the best way though anyways yeah let's just swim away and we should be good to go all right and there we go heist passed all right so we got an actual take of one million and eighty one thousand dollars i got a hundred percent in that cut because i'm doing this solo baby and well we obviously completed the elite challenge because you know it's me but in total i made one million one hundred thirty one thousand dollars but yeah I, it took me like 55 minutes i think all right so the kaya Perigo heist has a cooldown. i think it's three in-game days which every in-game days 48 minutes but i mean i'm only gonna do the contract i'm gonna go to sleep and then i'm gonna come back and i'm just going to go absolutely into grind mode but yeah i'm gonna do one contract kind of walk you through how i'm gonna do the contract so yeah let's head over to the agency and let's get started on that all right so now i'm at my agency and we need to go to vip contract and we need to start up the contract so yeah let's start up with the nightlife leak and yeah we need to pretty much do like two setups for the nightlife leak then we'll be able to do the finale for the leak so i'm just gonna show you the finale for each leak so yeah yeah, I'll see you when we're ready to do the finale for this. All right, so we're starting up the nightlife leak right now. So essentially, someone stole Dr. Dre's music, and they're having like a little release party in one of the penthouses at the casino, and we need to kind of like put a stop on that. So we need to go to the casino. All right, so we've made it to the penthouse, and there's a promoter in here promoting Dr. Dre's music. All right, so we found the promoter. Yeah, let's grab the music equipment, and yeah, he's just gonna take it back. Apparently, we're not strong enough to take it out of that guy's hands, but it's, uh, okay, whatever. And then yeah, there's reinforcements coming after me and yeah essentially this guy has like a little private army it's pretty much an army at this point but yeah pretty much not a whole lot going on aside from me just shooting a lot of people all right so i've killed everyone aside from this guy right here um, i'm trying to do this uh, i don't know i'll kill him now but i probably won't kill him in the future just because but yeah now we just need to leave the music locker and essentially just go back to our agency and we should be pretty much good to go all right and we've made it back to our agency and there we go mission passed and we're gonna get fourteen thousand dollars for this leak but i mean we're not supposed to be making the big money here during these leaks yeah we make it pretty much all at the end all right so now we're gonna get into the high society leak so we're gonna start this up and same thing i'm gonna do all the the setups before the actual finale for this leak itself so i'll see you when we're ready to do the finale for this leak all right so we're starting at the high society leak right here so right now we need to go to the billionaire's mansion and at this mansion there's like a party going on essentially and at this party once once again, they are releasing Dr. Dre music that is not supposed to be released yet. So we have to put a stop to this. Bro, let me in. Thank you. God dang. Okay. The gate wouldn't open for some reason. You can do this a lot better than the way I just did it. I don't even have my headset on, but yeah, I think pretty much Dr. Dre was saying trash this party. So now we have like an intimidation meter at the bottom of our screen and we need to essentially just take out the guards. How did I miss that railgun shot? Okay. That's fun. Thanks. Yeah, there we go. I hit that railgun shot. Ta-da. It's embarrassing. It even took that long. All right, there we go. We've intimidated the party enough. And now the guy that has the leaks is trying to run away on his helicopter, which that's not happening, man. Not under my watch. So essentially, we need to get into a car. Where are you? Here? Yeah. That's not an issue anymore. All right, ready? Die. Die. God, I love Mark II explosive rounds. Oh my God, you got on the other side. Oh, he's dead already. Never mind. Okay. I was about to get pissed. 
this helicopter is about to crash land somewhere and we just need to follow this helicopter to the place where it crash lands but i already know where it's gonna crash land oh and also you don't have to shoot the helicopter out the sky but if you don't the mission gets more unnecessarily harder because the helicopter won't crash land it'll land on a yacht you have to go all the way to the yacht all right so this is where the helicopter crash landed the guy's right here um i just like to run him over yeah run him over a few times and he finally dies and then we just get out and yeah we collect the phone and then yeah we can head back to the agency but i mean there's a way to make this a little bit easier on yourselves to go back to the agency and that's with this sparrow right here and there's a sparrow that's here for when you need to go to the yacht that's off the shore but i'm not using it for that i am using it to get back to my agency all right so we made it back to the agency i parachuted right here and there we go mission pass how much money do i get for that one Sixteen thousand. Hmm. good money that's really not but anyways we have one more leak to do and then we can start getting into the two finale missions all right so now we need to do the final league right here which is going to be the south central league so yeah i'll see you when we're ready to do the finale for this all right so we're jumping into our final leak that we have to go discover which is going to be the south central league now, essentially the backstory for this leak is that the vagas i think it's the vagas the vagas have dr dre's music and we're teaming up with um another gang that i've already forgotten along with the families to then go and take out the vagas and get this leak back it's essentially what's happening i mean this leak is so easy to do i in my opinion this is by far the easiest one all right so yeah here's the vagas right here yep just playing dr dre's music so yeah pretty much we have to take out a bunch of vagas just shoot a few people you know pew 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 pew, pew and just just move forward that's pretty much it all right so now this guy's trying to run away here with this car the music's playing in that car and we have to go track that car down and make sure he doesn't get away oh well, luckily i have my t20 right here my beautiful t20 that i've had since i think 2015 this is kind of similar to the high society league we don't want this guy to make it to a location and yeah i pretty much need to shoot him if i can aim good okay there we go all right so we need to get into this low rider and pretty much just make it back to our agency and that's it that's pretty much it not hard at all all right and we've made it back to the agency and there we go mission pass that's the final leak that we have to do but we still have like two more missions to go we got twelve thousand dollars for that all right so we're doing another mission um this is one of the two final missions that we have to do for the finale this first one we essentially all we have to do is just collect dr dre's car right here and drive it to record a studio it's pretty simple right i mean it's just gonna be easy money um honestly i don't have my headset on right now but i don't think things are going well at record a studios yeah someone has sent some people mm, mm, i wasn't expecting that all right there we go everyone's been taken out outside so now we need to go inside where you know just more of the same thing we have to kill a bunch of people all right there we go everyone's taken out that might have been honestly my smoothest run ever of just killing everyone in here but yeah now we have to go to the control room and we get a long long cutscene. so that's gonna cut into my time that's fantastic all right there we go mission pass we got seventy five hundred dollars i almost said seventy five thousand uh yeah not much money there but we have one more mission to go and that's the one where we're gonna get all the money bro launch dude why are we stuck oh there you go now we're not stuck all right there we go so now we're in the mission don't f with dre uh we need to go to johnny gun's last location the person who sent all those guys to dr dre's studio was mr jonathan guns and we don't like mr jonathan guns we absolutely want to slap jonathan guns right in the face oh wait i don't think i get the privilege of slapping him in the face i don't know i'll take care of him I i'll take care of him guys all right so we're supposed to go to jonathan guns last location and he's over here hello jonathan oh and then he's gonna run away like a coward i mean this is just clear jonathan stuff you know oh let me run away what a freaking dork yeah run away can't run away forever yeah but before i can find him again i have to take out all of his guards so yeah just a bunch of shooting a bunch of pew 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 all right there we go everyone has been taken out um yeah now we need to go to lsia because i think that's where mr jonathan fled all right so we made it to lsia oh my god there's mr jonathan's car mm -mm -mm. here Huh? They went right through his car. I shot the interior of his car accidentally. Whatever, just a little messed up game. I don't think it's apology letter worthy, but I mean, like, what are we doing? Oh, yeah, so at LSIA, Jonathan brought even more of his guards, so I have to take out even more guys, so yay. When I bought every single business in the game as a level one, when I started doing these missions, like, I was probably, like, level 20 or something, and on this account, I mean, I'm pretty much level 368, 368. Yeah, so this should be a cakewalk. All right, there we go. I think everyone has been wounded. Or wounded dead and then we need to wound mr jonathan after all that he's done jonathan 
Okay, there we go. Yeah, Mr. Jonathan is down, and Mr. Jonathan, I hate you. All right, but yeah, let's grab Jonathan and another big cutscene. All right, so the long cutscene finally finished, and pretty much all we have to do is drive two and a half miles to Pacific Bluffs Country Club, and that will pretty much be the end of the contract in its entirety. All right, there we go. We've made it to Pacific Bluffs Country Club, and goodbye, Dr. Dre. It was nice recovering all your music. And there we go, mission pass. Now give me my money, yeah, baby, one million dollars. Jeez, I don't know. I'm a little too excited. <laughs> I really am. All right, so I'm pretty much going to end it for today right here. Oh, what a beautiful number. That was 21 hours, 13 minutes and zero seconds. Wow. Great number. So after almost three hours of work, we made $2,366,000. When I resume tomorrow, I'm going to use some of this money and start buying supplies for some of the passive businesses. So while we do the Kyle Breco eyes, the contract, we'll be getting product in the background, but I'm going to start that in the morning after I take a good nap. So I'll see you in the morning. Morning. The next morning. All right, I had a good sleep. We're back for day number two. We still have this weird haze thing, and I'm trying to say something here. How do we miss? No, hold on. There we go. Yeah, no, how are you? you get knocked down like that, but you should still be able to get up. No, stop. Stay down. Thank you. Okay, he's not getting up now. Anyways, anyways, it's a new day. We're gonna start out today a little bit different than how we did yesterday. And that's because I'm gonna start gathering supplies for my passive businesses that I wanna use for this challenge. Oh yeah, and also, thank you for asking how I'm trying to keep my sanity through this 24 hour grind fest of GTA online. And well, for today, I'm gonna start on season one, episode one of SpongeBob. And we're gonna literally see how far I can get through SpongeBob today. I'm gonna freaking binge watch spongebob while i do this it's gonna be fun a little side quest amongst our big goal here but anyways i am going to resume the timer right now all right clock is running once again i did spawn in right next to my arcade but before i go to my arcade and go to the master control terminal i think that's what it's called before i go there i want to go here and collect the stash house so potentially i don't have to pay for supplies to make product all right so just like collecting bearer bonds i need to put in a code into the save there's like a sticky note that had the safe code. So I have to put that code into here and then we grab this like envelope and in exchange for this envelope, Gerald's going to give us like supplies for one of our businesses. All right, and there we go. We completed that and our bunker was resupplied. So that's good. But now let's travel over to our arcade now. All right, so now I'm at my arcade and right here is the master control terminal. And from here, you can pretty much just look at every business that you have in the game for the most part on here and see gun running right there has full supplies since we did just raid the stash house and then i'm only going to mess around with cola and methodology from here on out they do have a little bit of supplies but i mean it is so little like it, it's close to zero calm down okay so yeah what we're gonna do is we're going to resupply we're gonna buy supplies which is gonna be for these pretty much 60 grand a piece and then we're gonna give mutt a call and then hopefully mutt can resupply why are you busy do i really have to be outside just to talk to mutt what a dumb thing. All right, Mutt, you're going to pick up the phone now. I don't care. Oh yeah, now you want to talk. Okay, yeah. So we're also going to buy supplies there. So let's do that. Oh, I should have just called in my acid lab, to be honest, because I want to boost production. You can do that, I think, once a day. All right, so we need to go over... No. Oh, oh, I already bought supplies. Oh, wow. I'm being really dumb. But we need to boost the production. So that is what I am doing right here. We're going to boost the production. It's going to make the product faster to make, essentially. That's what we want. And out of these four passive businesses, I am probably going to sell this one off first. All right. But now I'm going to head back to my cassette. And we're going to do another Kaya Perico heist. All right. But anyways, yeah, let's get into another Kaya Perico heist. I have to give him $100,000 to take my money. And yeah, let's get into it. I'll see you at the end to see how much money I have accumulated from this heist. And there we go, heist passed. Or how much total money do I make this time? We made $1,014,000. But of course, I got the elite challenge. So pretty much we're gonna get $1,064,000. All right, so I checked the passive businesses that I've been trying to do and none of them are really ready to be sold off yet. Probably after I do the contract again, I'll probably sell off the asset lab. Yeah, I'm going to do another contract right now. So I'll see you when I actually complete this. All right, 
right, there we go. Mission pass, and there's my million dollars. All right. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sell off my acid lab. I'm going to buy some supplies right now, and then, yeah, I'm going to sell this product off. But yeah, I'm going to be selling in a private session. I really don't want to risk me losing out on money due to some griefer. In the Loser to Luxury series, I always sell in public sessions just to kind of spice things up. I mean, here, I just want to make sure we actually get the money. All right, it's so one of the ones where we get, like, a fake drop off or whatever. Can I, like, actually, like, shoot a grenade up there? I don't know. Right, where's one of the undercover cars? There they are. Okay. Yes, yeah, so and I have to lose the cops. Psh, easy. All right, there we go. Lost the cops. So now we have to go to the next drop-off point. It's not too far away. All right, here we go. Here's the drop-off. We just have to drive this bike on to there, and we just have to leave the area. We should be good to go. All right, there we go. We made $237,000 there. All right, so now I'm going to head to my arcade. I'm going to buy some more supplies for my other businesses, and then I'm going to head over to my hangar. Oh, right, yeah. Another thing that I want want to do is uh actually get a nightclub right here and i want to get up my nightclub popularity but the quickest way to do that is by rebooking so to like rebook i think 10 times something like that all right there we go oh you know what i actually am just driving by this now i'm gonna do the junk energy time trial it's just a quick 50k just sitting right here i'll take it dude oh my god i'm getting pissed at this freaking time trial i usually don't do this one oh my god Gosh! Oh! Get on the bike! What are you doing? You are... Oh my god, what are you doing? I clicked Y for you to get on the bike. I don't click Y for the fun of clicking Y. I don't think it's fun clicking Y. I click Y to get on the bike. The heck? This is stupid. All right, please get this over with. Thank you. That was not worth it. That was not worth it for me. I knew that was such a bad idea. But yeah, let's go back to our hangar. I'm pissed. I'm currently right now on the SpongeBob episode of Alien Hunting. I don't remember what it's actually called. But yeah, there's a UFO right there. You can photograph some of these UFOs to get money. They're all right here. Like, what if I just start taking photos? This is just straight cash right here. There's like three right there. Oh my God, this is $15,000 a piece. I'm a genius. Oh my, I'm making fat bank right now. Holy Holy crap. Oh, is that too far away? Dang, that's too far away. Screw it. I'll go over there. Yeah, this is pretty much an only October thing. I've made over a hundred thousand dollars just off of this. Yeah, oh my gosh. We've made close to two hundred thousand dollars in probably like three minutes just photographing UFOs. Wait, are there no UFOs outside of the city? There's none over here. I don't know. I don't really keep up with the UFO stuff too much, but geez, I made a ton ton of money just off of that. I should have just done that versus this stupid time trial. Anyways, I'm going to go over to my hangar now. All right, so now what I'm going to do while we're waiting to do another Kaya Perico heist is that I'm just going to source products. I'll source narcotics. I think that one gives 25% bonus. Oh, no, it's 35. It gives a 35% bonus, excuse me, for every 25 you get. I'm pretty sure that's the one. And then I, we can source it via the air or via the land. And land is a lot quicker than air, so we're going to do that. And we're just going to keep spamming that until we can do another Kaya Brico heist. All right, and then there's a cooldown in between you getting products. So I'm going to go between narcotics and chemicals. They're both going to give a 35% bonus every 25. So, yeah, I'm just going to bounce between those two. Okay, I just got a notification from Pavel saying that we can do Kyle Perico once again. So, once I return this to the hangar, I'll go ahead and start that up. All right, so I'm back in my Kasatka. So, let's start up another Kyle Perico ice, but this one's going to be a little bit different. We're still going to have to pay $100,000, as you can see. But it says now, setting up now, we'll set the heist to hard mode, which will give us 10% more money. So, this is going to be pretty good for us. But, yeah, let's get into it, and I'll see you when we're at the end and we're getting our paycheck. All right, and there we go. Another Kyo Perico ice has been passed. This one was on hard mode, so we made $1,109,000, which that's still already a little bit more. But for this specific elite challenge, doing it on hard mode, instead of getting $50,000 more, you get $100,000 more. So we're going to be sitting at $1,209,000. Pretty good stuff. All right, so I'm at my cola factory right now, and I'm going to sell off my cola factory right now, even though it's not maxed out. I'm just going to do it so, like, the Cell missions hopefully won't take as long. See, we get the ones with the van. Oh, it's the post op van, too. Oh, do I really want to do this? Yeah, I think I'm actually going to jump to another session and get another one. I'm still not doing the post op van, even though it's only two post op vans. 
to the three. Disgusting. If you're not aware, post op van is by far the worst sell mission. I might have been able to sell up two vans, but oh gosh, I do not not want to even attempt that. All right, so now we only have one delivery vehicle. It's going to be a motorcycle. This shouldn't be that bad at all. All right, so we've made it to the drop off right here. And there we go. We made $157,000 off of that. I mean, not too bad at all. All right, so I'm back at my agency. I'm going to start up another contract. It's going to be our third contract. So yeah, let's get into it. All right, there we go. Mission passed another million dollars in our bank account. That's our third contract that we've completed. All right, so I'm gonna get back to sourcing some cargo for my hangar. And then I think pretty much in 30 minutes, I'll be able to do another Kaya Perico heist. All right, so I'm back at my cassette and we're gonna start up another Kaya Perico heist. It's gonna be our fourth one. Once again, it's gonna be on hard mode. So yeah, let's get into it. And hopefully we get something good and make a lot of money. Dude, this UFO screwed up my plane. I can't fly the plane. I swear, I have to fly through the city, and I tried to avoid the UFOs, but I apparently got too close to one. Now, now the Vellum can't fly. Way to go. That, that, that's fantastic. Thank you, game. I literally can't move my plane. Yeah, this is stupid. Can't you literally disable the thing when I'm doing a mission? Embarrassing. All right, there we go. Another Kyle Perico heist has been completed. This time, we're going to make pretty much $1,153,000 since we did this on hard mode and completed the Elite Challenge. All right, so now I'm at my methodology lab. And before I do another contract, I'm actually going to sell off my methodology lab right here. So we're going to click to sell stock. And we're going to sell it to Blaine County for $312,000. Oh, thank gosh, too. We got one sell vehicle. And we had a decent amount of product, too. I think I just got incredibly lucky here. Yeah, I just have to drive four miles and we should be good to go wow this is huge for efficiency i really appreciate this game thank you all right and there we go we sold off our methodology for three hundred and twelve thousand dollars not bad at all all right so i'm at my nightclub right here and we are going to collect our wall safe right here for two hundred and twenty four thousand dollars i mean pretty simple way to make money our popularity is still pretty good so i don't really have to mess around with that too much all right and now after this i'm gonna get into doing a contract so yeah i'll see you once we complete that And there we go. Another contract has been passed. Another million dollars in my bank account. It's going to be the last one that I'm going to do for today. So what I'm going to do the rest of the day is that I'm going to sell off my acid lab. Then I'm going to collect some more product for my hangar. And then once we're able to start up another Kyle Perico heist, I'm just going to pay the setup cost. So then we can do it on hard mode when I come back tomorrow. Oh, geez. I didn't realize this product was maxed out. Yeah. Not as efficient as I wanted to be with it. Yeah. Ideally, I don't want it to be maxed out because if it's maxed out that means we're just kind of wasting time essentially like it, it could be time being used to you know make products but instead it's just sitting there just maxed out on product so that's my fault all right there we go we delivered all the product and we made three hundred and fifty one thousand dollars there so from here on out i'm just gonna go to my hangar and just acquire products until we can start up another kaya perico heist all right, so I've made it back to my Kasatka because we can now start up another Kaya Perico Ice. We're just going to pay for the setup cost right here. And I am going to stop my timer right here at 10 hours, 52 minutes, and 31 seconds remaining. So, so far in just over 13 hours of me just absolutely grinding for money, I'm sitting at $9,125,000. I feel like it's a little bit misleading, though. I mean, we still have like a ton of businesses that we are going to sell off like still progressively like i haven't even sold off my bunker yet i haven't sold off my nightclub oh yeah and then also the hangar too we still have a ton of product in the hangar so yeah towards the end of this we're gonna make a lot of money like really really quick from all these businesses but we're gonna do that tomorrow oh yeah by the way right before i started today i said i was gonna binge watch spongebob and i kept my word with that i started episode one of season one i quite literally finished the entirety of season one and i got through six six episodes of season two. It's absolutely nuts. But anyways, I'll see you tomorrow so we can finish this up, hopefully. The next day. All right, so it's a new day for me. We have just under 11 hours left to go. And this time, I'm not going to continue watching SpongeBob.
job. It's Sunday. I am watching football. But most importantly, though, I'm making money in GTA Online. So let's resume the timer right now. All right, clock is running. All right, so we left off yesterday with this Kyle Preka Heist being on hard mode. So yeah, let's just continue that and let's continue doing this. All right, there we go. Another Kaya Perico heist has been completed. Oh, we got bearer bonds, which is pretty good. So we got $1,089,000, but I get 100,000 for the elite challenge. So we're sitting at $1,189,000. Not bad at all, but I think now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to my cola factory. I'm going to sell off everything that's inside of my cola factory, and then we'll start up the contract again. All right, so we're going to be selling off our cola right here for $315,000. So yeah, let's get into that. Dude, I know I'm not selling like a ton of product, like all my loser luxury series like i sell like a max out mc business but i've been getting the single truck i mean this is fantastic i mean i think the first time i sold cola i got the bike which like okay but we didn't have that much product i mean we're sitting at like half of our product now and then when we sold our methodology we got a truck too i mean this is nice all right there we go we delivered our cola so we made three hundred fifteen thousand dollars for that all right so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna start up another contract and then i am going to probably sell off another business after that i don't know what but we'll see All right, so there we go. Another million dollars in the bank. That's our fifth contract that we've done. That's absolutely crazy. But now I'm gonna head over to my bunker and sell off my product inside my bunker. All right, so we're gonna sell stock here. We're gonna sell it to Los Santos for $924,000. That's a lot of money. So yeah, let's get into that. Hopefully we get an easy sell mission, an actual doable sell mission. And, ooh, um, hmm, I don't know how far. Oh, wait, I think we can do this. Okay, yeah, it's gonna be close, but yeah, I'm cool with this one. All right, and there we go. We sold off our product for $924,000. So I actually have to go for a little bit. So I'm going to stop the timer right now at seven hours, 51 minutes and 21 seconds remaining. And I'll get back to this later on today. All right. So I'm back to finish out the day or at least what I want to do for today. So I am in my Kaseka right now and we're going to do another Kaya Perico heist. So let's resume the timer from seven hours, 51 minutes to 21 seconds right now. All right. Clock is is running. Uh, yeah, let's do another Kaya Perico Ice. This one's not going to be on hard mode because, well, I was gone for a little bit. So, unfortunately, not able to do this one on hard mode. I apparently didn't do this Kaya Perico Ice right. Definitely, I'm not going to get enough secondary loot, but I am still a little lost. How I even got caught. I thought I did this incredibly smooth, but I obviously did not. I don't know where I screwed up here. I've been doing a lot of Kaya Perico Ice recently, so I shouldn't be screwing up, but apparently I did. Like, there wasn't enough secondary loot to fill up my entire bag. There was like one thing of grass, one thing of cash. That's why my secondary loot's not filled up, and then somehow I got caught. I, I don't know how I got caught at all. But anyways, yeah, a little bit of controversy here, which, I mean... Okay, I guess, but I'm gonna take this bike. I'm gonna get it out of here. It's a little frustrating because I know how to do the Kaya Perico heist incredibly well, but it's just, you know, a lot of things went wrong. Some apparently one my fault. I don't know how. And then the other one, the game not giving me enough secondary loot. All right, so we completed another Kaya Perico heist. The yeah, actual take of $805,000 and no elite challenge either. Yikes. All right, so I'm back at my nightclub. I'm gonna collect my wall safe again. I'm probably only gonna collect it one more time right before I try to sell off my nightclub towards the end of this timer. But but yeah, let's click this $167,000. Um, and there's apparently a troublemaker or something like that that we need to take on the limo. So I'll do this really quick just to keep my popularity up. I think after this, I'm gonna go to my arcade, go to my master control terminal and probably buy supplies for the last time and then just let all the product accumulate with the supplies and then gradually sell off those businesses and start focusing more on other businesses after that. All right, so now we're gonna get into selling off our methodology for $223,000. So yeah, let's get into that. All right, there we go. We sold our methodology for $223,000. That honestly took me a little longer than I wanted it to, but yeah, oh well. But now I'm going to do another contract. So I'll see you when I finish that contract. All 
All right, there we go. Mission passed. Another million dollars in the bank. Uh, I'm going to go to my hangar now, and I'm just going to continue to rack up some more product. Hopefully, get to 50 at some point, but I'm not even halfway there, and we have, what, five hours almost? Oh, gosh. Yeah, this is going to be interesting, but hopefully, I can make some good progress. All right, so Ron messaged me saying we can start up another Kaio Perico heist, so I am going to go over here, and yeah, there it is. Pretty much saying that this heist is going to be on hard. Another 100k down the drain but i'm gonna do this one a little bit differently because i'm gonna wrap up today by completing all the setups for the kaya perico ice but not doing the finale and then when i do my final push to try to complete this tomorrow i'm gonna start out by doing the heist on hard mode so then we can do another hard mode of a kaya perico heist later on in that day i think that's smart i think that makes sense but yeah i'll see you when i finish all the setups so we can kind of go over where i'm at right now all right so i got back from my final setup that I had to do for the Kyle Perico heist. Oh, uh, this is going to be it for today. I'm going to stop the timer right now at three hours, 46 minutes, and nine seconds left. So currently right now, I'm sitting at $14,239,000. But I mean, we have a Kyle Perico heist on deck. I still have four more businesses that I'm going to sell one more time. And then I have the nightclub I'm going to sell off. And hopefully we can finally get the hangar maxed out. But I'll see you for my final push to complete this 24 hours. All right, so I'm back for my final day and we have three hours and 46 minutes and nine seconds remaining. Before we finished yesterday, I fully set up a Kyle Perico high. So as soon as I start the timer, I'm going to jump straight into that. So the final push is going to start right now. All right, clock's running again. All right, so here we go. I think I can get two more Kyle Perico heists done, but I think I can only do one more contract. All right, there we go. Another heist passed. Uh, we got one million thirty-eight thousand dollars. There's gonna be one million one hundred and thirty-eight thousand dollars. I'm kind of calculating the times like in my head. If everything goes according to plan, I think I barely have enough time to do one more Kaya Perico heist. I think, which I might have to be a little bit creative on how I want to do the rest of my time because honestly, I want to sell off my hangar. Like I've been slowly working on it, but I mean, we're not even half way there yet i feel like it's more worth it for me personally to finish off gathering supplies for my hangar so i think i'm going to do that instead of the contract but first i want to call in my acid lab and we're going to sell off our acid maybe for the last time i don't know we have a ton of supplies all right so i'm at my acid lab and we have a value of three hundred fifty one thousand dollars. so yeah let's sell off my acid right here all right there we go we sold off our acid for three hundred fifty one thousand dollars. maybe we can sell off the acid one more time i don't know but my priority now is to max out my hangar i think i'm at like 20 out of 50 crates inside the hangar but i think i'm gonna take some breaks while i'm doing this and i'm going to sell off some of my other businesses i think i'm gonna get a few crates and then i want to sell off my bunker and then you know do stuff like that all right so i made it to my bunker we have a little bit of product in here we have one hundred fifty-five thousand dollars worth so i'm just gonna sell this off real quick i'm gonna get back to sourcing more product for our hangar all right there we go we made 320 $25,000 there. I'm going to go back to sourcing more product for my hangar. And then I'm going to sell off, I think, my cola factory next. All right. I'm actually at my nightclub. I'm going to click my nightclub wall save really quick for a quick $167,000. All right. So you're getting to right around an hour left out of our 24 hours, which is crazy. But I'm still trying to source products for our hangar. We are very, very close to getting 50 out of 50. Yeah. I think at this point, I'm not even going to do another Kyo Pro. Rico heist. I think the goal for me is to sell off my hangar, which I'm going to have to do two sell missions. I'll explain why once we get there. And then I'm going to sell off the rest of my businesses and see how much time I have left. All right. So I have 50 out of 50 now. Now this is what I'm talking about right here. I was going back and forth between two products because there was no waiting time. If I only got one product, I had to wait. So yeah, I'm going to sell off narcotics and I'm going to get a chemical. So yeah, let's get into this. All right. And there we go. We sold that all for like almost a a million. We didn't even make a million. We still have 25 more things to sell off. So let's get into that. Oh my gosh. I have to wait to sell cargo. Oh my. No, 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 
no, no. We're going to be ultra efficient. No, this is stupid. You know what? We're going to sell off our nightclub. We haven't sold off our nightclub yet today. We're going to do that now. All right, I'm going to click my nightclub wall safe real quick for $43,000. Not too bad at all, but then we're going to sell off our nightclub. All right, so we can sell off our goods for $611,000. So yeah, let's definitely do that. All right, so I sold off my nightclub for $549,000, but we need to sell off the other half of our hangar. So let's get into that. Oh my God. That counts for any cell mission, the countdown? That sucks. All right, so the, finally the timer is expired for that. So yeah, let's sell this off. All right, there we go. We sold off our other product for $987,000. We have 18 minutes left. So right now I'm going to try to sell off my cola. I can probably sell off my cola right now. It's going to be the methodology. Can I sell that off? I don't know. All right, so we can sell off our cola for $315,000. We're selling it in Blaine County, so let's do that. Okay, we're getting the garbage truck once. Um, we can probably get better sell vehicles than this, but I mean, I don't even know, to be honest. Like, do I just want to sit there and just keep cycling over and over? Like, I don't even know. So I'm just going to try. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, my gosh. I think it's going to be very controversial, but I just thought about it a little bit more. Oh, my gosh. Just wasted so much time for that. That was very dumb. Are you kidding? I swear. I have to defend my product. This is why I don't like being an MC president, but I'm trying to get things done in a very quick quick manner but no no the game's like ha 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 yep there we go i defended that business not even the business i was trying to even like sell off all right let's try this again hopefully we can sell this off i mean we have 10 minutes now pretty much something like that to sell this off uh, i have two sell vehicles how far do i have to go seven miles nope we're not doing that one Dude, we are losing a ton of product just trying to get a good sell mission <laughs> give me a good sell mission enter a truck 10 deliver no 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 no, stop. <laughs> we have one cell vehicle. It's a van. I think we are only going to get $157,000 from this cell mission at this point. But I mean, at least we can complete it in our time frame. That's what I'm trying to do. All right, here we go. Boom. $157,000. I'm going to do one more thing. I have like, what, four minutes left, which is crazy. All right, so I'm at the Diamond Casino right now, and I'm just going to spin the lucky wheel. I don't know. Maybe we can land on a vehicle. That'd be nice. All right, what are we going to land on? Come on. Uh, where is vehicle? Oh, okay. Just went by. We're not getting vehicle. And oh, good. A discount. A discount for all this money that I have. Oh, yeah. Honestly, I don't know what else to do. We have like two minutes now. Yeah, two minutes. I'll just let the clock run out. There's really not anything I can really do. All right. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. And there we go. We've just completed 24 hours of playing GTA Online. Now, in total, I made $18,912,000. And honestly, that's not as much as I thought I was going to make. I probably made some errors along the way that I'm not incredibly aware of. But I think one thing that definitely was a lot different from this compared to what I did for starting as a level one and trying to buy every business in the game was the fact that the Kyle Brigo I since then has had been significantly nerfed. I think that was a huge factor. If that wasn't the case, I feel like I could have made 25 million, something like that. And then I probably shouldn't have sold off my hangar too, honestly. I probably wasted too much time on that, especially like the final stretch. Also, when I sold off every business in the game, when I did that video, the auto shop contracts were double money and RP when I did those. So I made a lot more money off of that, but I probably could have still done auto shop contracts for this. But I mean, come on, almost 19 million dollars that's crazy and hopefully that's enough money to buy everything for the next dlc that's gonna come out probably in a month and a half make sure you check out this video right here if you want to see how to make your first one million dollars as a level one in gta online